that falsifies this, which would be perfectly a, a perfect example, would be something chimeric like a dragonfly with a cell wall. Think of how, uh, think about how ridiculous. Then, then this you is. would have disproven the theory, or you would have at least falsified the, that to, hypothesis. Hold on a second. You're saying to prove that people and pine cones are not related, you have to find a person with a pine cone growing out of their head. No, actually, that is what that's you're kind saying. of what you're asking for us to prove. Uh, no, see, the thing is, if you wanted to prove that a pine cone and a human being are not related, you take the two the two things they share in common that they're they're eukaryotes and that they have certain cellular and molecular similarities, and then you take that and you form a nested set, and then you violate that nested set, or you find an example of something that violates it, which is probably where you were going with the platypus example, expecting me to think that that was a violation of the, of the nested hierarchy. No, I'm which curious, I'm curious, what did it evolve from? A mammal. That's not an answer, did it? You said it had a common ancestor uh, with a dragonfly. It is an answer, actually. You said it had a common ancestor with a dragonfly. Yeah, Give me an example of something me. that's half dragonfly, half platypus. Uh, see, there you're just being disingenuous because you know that that's not what anybody's proposing because platypus and, say, human beings share a more, co more recent common ancestor with each other than either does with the dragonfly. So there cannot be, in the evolutionary theory, a half platypus, half dragonfly. So you just don't understand what people are asking. You just don't understand the theory. How and you're do you being come, disingenuous. Because how do you come you would, to if you conclusion? understood it, Kent, you would never ask for a half platypus, half, half dragonfly, because where the heck did all the other mammals come from? I understand it much better than you realize and much no, better than you do. No, actually, you don't, because... Uh, <laughs> how in the, well, one second, Martin. How do you come to the conclusion that two things are related simply because they have similar properties? It's not about similarity. That's it's what you just said. You were mentioning how the dragonfly no, and the platypus both contain eukaryotic cells, and they're both. And it's about a, a nested hierarchy. Okay. So, yeah. So how do you come to the conclusion that just because they have similarities, therefore they're related? Okay. Do you agree that there's at least a nested hierarchy that we can distribute forms into? You can create one if you want. No, but do you agree that there's one that? I mean, a creation. I can create. If you give me a bunch this, of okay. skulls, if well, you give me. was a creationist. And he hold on a second. Started. Hold on a second. If you give me, that doesn't necessarily necessarily mean this is a nested hierarchy by which they descended. Okay. If you give me no, a bunch of we're skulls, that larger or smaller, I can organize them in any one. one. Back to the final segment of the Creation Science Hour. It's April 19th of 05, and this is Kent Hoven and Jonathan Sampson at Creation Science Evangelism. DrDino.com is the website. Dr. Dino Live is the AOL instant message screen name if you want to get in. And we have Martin still on the phone, I believe, right, Martin? Yep, that's right. Good. So you're from Sweden and you're living in Canada, and you believe. No, right? no, I'm from Canada, living in Sweden. Oh, so you're from Canada, living in Sweden? Yep. You're calling from Sweden? Yep, I'm actually calling from Linnaeus' hometown. That's got to be 2 in the morning over there. No, nope, it's only a quarter to one. A quarter to one, okay. Yeah. Missed it by an hour. Um, well, let's see. So you believe dragonflies and platypus have a common ancestor because they're bilaterally similar? Yes, but it is not a unique common ancestor. This is the important part, okay? It's a common ancestor shared with other things that are triploblastic, multicellular, eukaryotic, eukaryotic bisymmet uh, bilaterally symmetric organisms. Right. Now, is this... Uh, this what you what you believe about them having a common ancestor? Is this what something? Said, yeah. Is this something that can be demonstrated empirically, or just something that can be taken as theoretical? Yeah, I think it can be demonstrated actually. So you don't because see you don't see that as a religious belief. You see that as a no, thing. I don't because I mean I don't think things that you can't actually see necessarily require faith any more than I require faith in, in believing that that there are electrons that are right now operating inside my computer. Or that there are stars very far that now, I can't Now you're using a physical but analogy for a, you wouldn't let me do that a few minutes ago. Uh, because I'm not making an analogy to to specific yeah, living things. No, no, I'm not. I'm making an analogy to your argument where you're saying that if I can't see it, then therefore it's it's not scientific or that it's that it's space based. But that's absolutely ridiculous. That's an anti scientific statement. Because science the purpose of science is to find out about things we cannot see, that we cannot directly observe. That's oh. why we do science, okay? Oh, I agree. So oh. then why, how come you can't agree that a common ancestor is something that we can learn about even if we can't actually see who it is or no, it's find some, it? it's something that you can believe in. No, it's something we can test. You cannot test that a dragonfly and a platypus have a common ancestor. Sure, you're trying to do it with me all night tonight. 
Well, you're trying to test it. I mean, whenever I say something, when I try to, to, to demonstrate that there's a nested hierarchy, you try to bust it down. That's testing it. Well, okay, okay. Let, let's test my hierarchy then. Uh, cars and filing cabinets are related. Yeah, but cars don't reproduce, so they can't have common ancestors. It's an irrelevant question. Yeah, well, platypus have, have, they reproduce, and they always produce platypus. <laughs>